they teach you all this shit in school, and, and your parents get you ready for everything, but you don't realize how unprepared you are until you wake up one morning, you go into your bathroom, and you're pissing razor blades into the toilet. <laughs> Who knows what to do if you get an STD? Anybody? They don't teach you in school. They teach you that you're supposed to wear condoms. They teach you what the STDs are. They teach you how to tell which STD you have. They don't tell you where to go when you think you have one. Does Gillette have a free clinic? No? No. Yeah, nobody thinks about it. I certainly didn't think about it. I looked in the phone book under STD, but there's nothing. There's nothing under STD in the phone book. So, uh, what I did is I went to my family doctor, same one I've been seeing for 20 years, and uh, I go into the receptionist, go, she says, can I help you, sir? I said, yeah, I need to see a doctor. Well, who's your doctor? I don't know. I'm, I'm 23 years old. I've never made an appointment to the doctor's office. I, my mom does it for me. <laughs> so I go up and... And she says, well, what do you need to see the doctor for? Uh, I think I have a <laughs> What? I can't understand you. I think I have chlamydia. Oh, have a seat, sir. <laughs> so five minutes later, I'm sitting in the doctor's office, feet dangling off the little fucking table. Doctor walks in with his little file. She comes up to me and he said, so, have you been having unprotected sex? Yes, I have been. What, what seems to be your symptoms? Well, I woke up yesterday morning and I, my pee was burning. I says, okay, well, in this little file is a little Q-tip. Has anybody here ever had to go through this? Be honest, please. <laughs> has, has anybody else here ever had to find out if they really have familiar? Nobody? I'm the only one? Well, what they do is the doctor gives you this little Q-tip, and she shows you a little line. Yeah, she, she, the same doctor I used to go to when I had a tummy ache and she gave me lollipops, is now handing me a Q-tip, and she wants me to stick it in my dick. <laughs> Fucked up. Very awkward situation. So I did it. I'm not going to go into it. But uh, it's about a quarter of an inch, just so you know. No one fucking told me. But uh, if anybody ever has their pee burning and you gotta go to the doctor, they're gonna have you stick a Q-tip, a quarter of an inch into your dick, and turn it 360 degrees. That's how they do it. Okay, so I get this done, and she comes back in, and she says, well, sometimes people come in and they think they have an STD, but they really don't. So, it could be a bladder infection. Oh, great. Great, thanks for telling me that. I could have taken the pills for bladder infection and see if my pee quit burning. You have me stick a Q-tip in my dick, lady. <laughs> Anyways, she gives me antibiotics, the prescription for that, for the bladder infection. And she gives me this little chalky, pasty drink that I'm supposed to drink to get rid of the chlamydia. What the fuck? You don't even know if I have chlamydia. You haven't run the tests. Why don't you just give me the drink? And I'll see if I get better, instead of putting me through the fucking torture. It's fucked up. I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm not fucking prepared. But, even though I know telling this story probably won't get laid tonight. <laughs> but, you know, the committee is gone. The chocolate cakes did get rid of it. And it doesn't burn anymore. But uh, I'm not too worried because the bitch that gave me chlamydia met her here. So, uh, <laughs> thank you guys for giving me a shot. The next comedian, the real comedian coming up, works at clubs all over the country. His name is Phil Porter. He's from Denver. Phil Porter, ladies and gentlemen. First time ever he lives here in Gillette, he's an aspiring comic, and someday when he's famous, you guys will be like, that guy's got an STD. <laughs> 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 <laughs>